So today the Corvair is moving. It's going up to Tom's in uh, Hinderwell. It's about half an hour drive from, well, wouldn't be half an hour, but it will be half an hour in this. Uh, over to Hinderwell because it's getting stored there for reasons. Reasons. That uh, will become, will come to fruition, but Whoa, we're gonna check, apparent. check fluids. Um, I drove it yesterday, so it should be all right, but we'll check fluids. Maybe check the tire pressures uh, and yeah, set off up there. Tom's gonna follow me because this car doesn't have hazards. Yeah. So yeah, we'll check the uh, oil, the trans fluid, and it's definitely got fuel in it, so. Where are you ready with that? Yep. It might be right up the dipstick. Oh no, that could probably do with some. The thing is, right, it was pissing fluid. Right. It was pissing trans fluid um, while it hasn't been on the road, while I haven't been driving it. Um, and then yesterday, before I drove it, I thought I'll check the dipstick and see if there's any fluid in it, because if it's drained it all on the floor. Mm. And I took the dipstick tube out and the friggin' the level was halfway up the dipstick. Yeah, it depends whether you've been running it or not. Because if you look here, it's got two markers, right? So it's got full pot. Add one part. And add one pint. And it's above add one pint. Yeah. I would say, wouldn't you? Yeah. So if we warm it up and then check it. Yeah. It'll come up that tube, I think. Right. I'm guessing. I'm not really sure. It's a bit queer, isn't it? Yeah. You really consult the... Because... Um, we should really go to the internet for that one, I suppose. Yeah. But yeah, in terms of the oil's fine. Oil's fine. We'll probably just do with a change at some point. Yeah, I'll probably we'll we'll get it out, get it turned on, and then check that again. And check the trans fluid again. Yeah. Who gives that? You can go. I'm just gonna give it a crank now, aren't you, Ben? Yeah. Just gonna do the old. The best thing about these is you can start from the passenger seat. Because you can get your foot to the brake. Oh. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, ooh, she's gonna go. Go on. Keep going. That'll be all right, don't worry. Just taking a minute to suck some fuel through. Go on, try again. Right, let's uh, set off up to Hinderwell. Should be about a half hour drive. Fingers crossed, she starts again. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking start. unit is like absolutely ridiculous it's always a pretty nerve-wracking experience taking this out just with it being as old as it is being on carbs and stuff you never know if it's gonna stuff like this has a mind of its own
Oh, she made it. So yeah, to further explain why the cars came over to this sort of different unit, um, I'd be much happier with it over here because the roads are so much better. It's all my, more like country roads. My, where my unit is, it's all um, it's all main roads. It's all really fast roads. Everybody's in a rush everywhere. It's a bit more laid back up here. Uh, the roads are nicer. And it's just a bet. It's a better environment to have the car. I can keep the car in a. It's in a nice unit. It's easy to get out when it's out of the unit. It's straight onto a main road. Um, I don't have to deal with my track. Because the main issue with my unit really is the track into it and out of it. So um, yeah, I just feel a lot happier with the with the car up here. I'll definitely get out in it more. I think while the weather's good, because I can take it into Whitby over the mowers, like there's just so many more decent places to drive to with it out here so yeah i'm definitely massive thank you to tom charlotte and jazz for letting me put the car in there uh for the time being i'm driving it Shards B30 now. Should be all right, yeah. Go on, just give it a quick bump. Go on, that's it. You're over. Be all right over there. <laughs> Not gonna hit now, am I? car is officially on the floor again. Is that off the ramp? Yep, on the Oh, that arm's on. Oh. Weird. Oh well, it's got wheels again. <laughs> Melon man, can't have fuck all. Look at that. Oh, tell you what. Diamond and gold says. Literally is as well. So yeah, the A28's back on the floor, back on its wheels. 
just taking the last few bits out of the bay um, I've got to do another zinc coating run got like push like the rods from the pedals that come into the bay they're all disgusting so I'm going to get them all redone this is all just random hardware from inside the bay there's a bolt or two in the back end that I need to take off they were for the um idler arm type things like pitman arms uh and then yeah just random bits and bobs that i still need to take to get sorted but this week uh the plan is to remove all of the trims and stuff like that from from the e28 take the take the rear lights out uh door trims probably the door chrome as well um mirrors window trims take the interior well i'll leave the interior in for now but the interior will be coming out before it goes for paint uh but yeah we're, we're getting there shouldn't be long now till the car goes for paint yeah big thanks again to tom jazz and shah for letting me put my car putting the car there up at hinderwell at their spot um I'm much happier about the car being up there than being down here. It'll just, it makes it so much easier for me to just hop in it and go out and cru cruise around because those roads are just so much better for that car. Where my unit is, is kind of like a city area. So it's a lot more built up. There's a lot more traffic, police, that sort of thing. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Um, hopefully I have another video up very soon talking about more and what I've done with the E28 um, and yeah there's also big news coming hopefully this week so stay tuned for that it's going to be a big one um, so yeah thanks for watching guys catch you in the next one